gonna make the profiles boom, 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 boom. What it is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. What it is is real life and real talk by a real one who really did that. What it ain't is out of preservatives and fake bullshit. There will be no stories written by over here. There shall not be, will not be, never will be, period. Sorry, Tony. <claps> Fuck out of here, right? We're talking about real life and real talk. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, we're going to talk about lies. The movie American Me Told. Simon, American Pinchy Me. Real talk and real life. Let's get into it. Um, now, you can tell um, anyone that knows what's up knows that the movie American Me played a very intricate part into Chicano culture. The cultura wouldn't be the pinchy cultura it is now without the movie American Me. In the early 90s, we had nothing, homes. We had the Duke, 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 uh, utterly Duke. You know what I mean? Hey, can I borrow some money? Right? Fuck you, ranker. And over there, we had fucking Boulevard Nights and a few other little movies. That's all we had, homes. That's all we was worth. That's just all we can get. Hollywood wasn't fucking with no Mexicans, man. But all of a sudden, oh, yes, all of a sudden, someone had a dream. They had an idea, man. They had a, fr a fruition or whatever you call it, right? And they came out with the movie American Me. And I remember when the movie American Me came out. So I was scared. Everybody was hooked on phonics. Everybody wanted to see it. Ain't nobody talking when I'm talking, fellas. So shut the fuck up. Hooked. We all sat our asses down and didn't talk, right? Because you said don't talk. All right, that's the type of people we are. We listen. Um, so we all kicked back and watched it. Now, it was a great thing seeing Chicanos portrayed on a movie. We was fucking, we was cool with that one. You could have just did that. And so I said, orale, we were good. Um, but the movie American Me became a box office hit. It became bigger than what it truly was intended to be. And it started to play a part in culture. You got to understand in the 90s, everybody was about gangbanging. That was the gangbanging era. It was cool to gangbang. Didn't matter if you were a fucking Chicano, Mexicano, Africano, Asian, a white boy, everybody, everybody wanted to do their thing, man. Everybody had a little bit of thug in them or they were trying to put a little slug in someone else. It just was what it was. This is when drive-bys were happening. This is when walk-ups were fucking taking place. This is when fools were getting popped non-stop. Now, they suck. I can't call it like an alcoholic. They're still doing it. They just got different haircuts. But back then, man, it was a whole lot different. Everybody thought it was cool to be a gang member. They thought that you were the one and you were all about your pride for your people. You were all about your barrio or your hood or your clique or your street or your village or your fucking turf or whatever you called it, right? At the end of the day, you were repping and you were repping hard. In a movie like American Me, coming out and showing prison politics and showing the true nature and the existence of an organization and how it was founded, and people took that fucking too hard. I took it with a grain of salt, and I'm going to tell you why. Boy, not the end. So I took it too hard, too. I was like, big corazón. I was like, brown pride. I still am, right? Um, American me. But back then, I didn't know better. Now that I know better, and I'm going to grow the dawn, I've actually been through that same prison system that this movie was portraying. I'm going to tell you about all the lies. Mm-hmm. Orale. For those of you that have not been incarcerated and don't know, oh, there was so much bullshit in that movie. Now, you got to understand. Hollywood is Hollywood. Them vatos lie more than the president, right there. You know what I mean? To what degree president? I don't know. You know what I mean? I didn't say this one or that one or, you know what I mean, 45. I didn't say nothing like that. I said what I said. I didn't spell it. Anyways, look, in a menudo style, um, there was a lot of lies told in this movie. You know, they wanted to point you in a certain direction, homes. They were telling old wise tales. They were telling you things without telling you the real thing, you know. And there was a lot of repercussions for this movie. Now, a lot of us know the story. They've seen the documentary. But for those of you that don't know, sit down here. I'm about to give you some knowledge. You can't get a motherfucking healed college. And maybe you can. And maybe you can make good money. But fuck it, eh? Gunner's College is just a little bit hood, right? One on one. So anyway, sit down and enjoy. Go to pinchy popcorn or fucking chicharron. Now, look. In the movie America Me, um, there were certain parts of the movie, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Just go slow, homes. You know, some of the fameros won't take it to them, man. Or will they? Well, let me tell you something. Um, for those of you that don't know, okay, that organization that they were portraying as in that movie, were not strength, right? At that timeline in the movie, those vatos were all just gente raza from down south. In fact, there was nothing but raza, period. There were no Norteños yet or Sureños soldados. There was none of that yet. It was all just raza, either raza from up north that just lived up north, didn't claim up north, just lived there. Their waters were there, of course, but they just lived there. And there were vatos from down south, like gangs like 18, Maravilla, you know what I mean, Clanton, you know, White Fence, a lot of old school barrios, you know what I mean, San Diego, stand up. 
just Inland Empire, can't leave them out, take it, they're rocking, right? San Diego, all these barrios, but nobody was claiming Norteño and Sureño. So they weren't just a bunch of lame farmers from the north because they were just a bunch of gente, okay? The NF was not started by a bunch of lame, pinchy farmers from the north, Charlie Homes. They were actually started by vatos from down south, vatos from Maravilla, vatos from Clanton, vatos from Chiques, vatos from Bakersfield, I see, right? This is what, these are, the, these are the guys who started the NF. So that was a lie that the movie told. That was a narrative they want you to believe in. They wanted to portray the North and South division when they weren't even created yet. And it stop it. I seen that. I was like, okay, as a little kid, así es, norteños, rifamos contra todo. Right? I was all fucking game banged out. And then as I got older, I said, hey, homie, the organizations weren't even around back then. You know what I mean? The, the M it was, but the NF was not. I don't get it, right? Or it was, but it wasn't norteños that started it. You know, they don't know their history. Um, so to me, it looked like Edwards James Olmos, who did a lot of the research, didn't research fucking quite enough, right? He was just putting two on the 10 or 10 on the two. Beat us, whatever the case may be, man, he fucked up. Holmes, you know you fucked up, right? Another part in that movie um, that was highly, highly disrespectful was, um, of course, the juvenile hall scene where the Vata gets the double up, uh, uh, right? Nah, that never would never happen. Never, ever, ever in the lifetime, right? First of all, Vatos ain't doing that shit no dog, right? Second of all, um, it never happened. And to misconstrue as such as someone that high ranking or someone that they were trying to portray that got fucking uh, manhandled and got his uh, manhood taken was a lie. Why they incorporated and added that to the movie, I have no fucking clue or no idea. I thought that was the dumbest part of the movie. Even now, to this day, kill him, kill him, right? I always look away. I couldn't, when he cuts his lip, I, was, I just can't do that, right? Um, I don't know why they put that part of the movie. I understand that they try to portray it like, okay, he came back, he, he hit rock bottom. So I was going, or someone else hit his rock bottom, right? Um, but nobody was touching nobody's bottoms in real life, man. And if you're going to try to base a movie on certain characters, uh, true life characters, I, under I understand Hollywood's going to put their spin on it. And these directors at the end of the day are going to do what the fuck they want to do. Um, but when it comes to organizations, man, that are so respected, highly respected, okay, maybe not out here on the guys like they should be. But in prison homes, you don't disrespect these individuals, period. So that right there was a faulty situation, and that was a lie told. That never happened. Mm -mm. Okay? Never, period, plain and simple. Okay, it portrayed this movie three individuals. And basically, it wanted to show their lives. Okay, it wanted to show their lives. It wanted to show how they formed together for power, right? These youngsters, uh, and it showed Santana, which, of course, we know was a portrayal of Cheyenne Cadenia, man. Rest in peace. Uh, Valta from, you know, indubitably, you know, an organization man that he's a, he was a very profound, very smart. Uh, his intellect was surpassed many, you know what I mean? When it comes to that, um, they wanted to portray him. Of course, they wanted JD. They wanted to portray Joe Morgan, man, another uh, a, a very respected individual. And then, of course, Mundo, um, who you see him on YouTube now. You know what I mean? He's the one talking about, so the homies from Chiques, right? That, that Valta, right? They wanted to portray Mundo Rama, right? They wanted to portray him, these three individuals. But the timeline's all fucked up. See, these three guys were never best friends from the East LA. These three guys, they put that Hollywood spin on it again. These three guys didn't even know each other, and their timelines are all fucked up. J, uh, JD, the guy who played fucking Joe Morgan, didn't come in until later. Um, so that right there in itself was rocking a narrative and ingraining a narrative. And there's people that literally believe. The American movie timeline is what happened. I tried to tell this one youngster. He was like, nah, man, they were all three homeboys from East LA, eh? And so let's get big hazard order. Le controlamos todo. I said, listen, bitch, right? Sit your punk ass down here, homes, so I can give you some real historia. Yeah, I'm so disgusted with you, homes. You're over there fucking, then next year you know, he's going to tell his little homie. He's going to tell his little homie. Everyone's going to look, I'm so mad I'm knocking lights down. I'm pissed. This, you know what I mean? What does it involve me? It doesn't, right? But still, um, anyways, I get mad because... That's where motherfuckers get the game fucked up. That's when people run and people get, they kill people. People get killed over shit like this. People come up short because you try to explain to someone, nah, that ain't our history, bro. If you're going to learn, learn the historia, you're going to be involved in gang membership and be involved at a higher level in politics and all that. Learn uh, 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 the truth, homes, before you run with mistruths because mistruths will get you caught up. Shit, sometimes the truth will get you caught up, homes, but the truth will also set you free, bro. If you know what the fuck you're talking about, if you know your historia, if you know your people, you can't go wrong, man. If you're out there spreading falsified lies and rumors, homes, without paperwork in real life, so that's good. Well, I've seen it in America, me. 
bitch, do you know what it really, do you know the, the facts, right? Here are the facts. I'm going to give them to you in a northern fashion because I'm from up north and then I got no vodka from down south that'll tell you the exact same thing. You know what I mean? Um, so that was another uh, 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 well thought out lie. Okay. Another one that I seen, man, and I was kind of like, ah, eh, was towards the end, man, when, um, when they, when, when, uh, Pie Face Ortega, you know, he was, Basically, Pie Face was portrayed to be Pie Face Ortega. When he was killed, that never happened. Okay, mm -mm, that never happened. Mm -mm, never. Never. That's fake, right? Um, you got to look into the history of that certain organization, man, and, and you will learn the details, man. Of course, they used a lot of what ifs and they used a lot of becauses and they used a lot of maybes. Um, but maybes don't count in fucking real life. You know, maybes it get you killed, um, and it did get a lot of people hurt. Okay, another one of the things that uh, I didn't like was showing Vatos fucking in Italian. Orale. Vatos aren't in there fucking fucking you because you fucked up. Vatos will just hit you. They'll just whack you, homes. They're not going to fucking hit you. They try, it seemed like they tried to tear away a fucking Chicano or Mexicano's uh, 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 man. The, the man side of them. They tried to turn them into some type of fucking hotito. I didn't like that. Okay, if the Vatos are doing what they're doing, they're doing what they're doing. But... Um, they kept portraying that, just like they portrayed when Santana flipped the chick over, he was trying to do it. Like, they wanted you to think that that's all we were. We were beneath ourselves. We were fucking a lower standard of human of living. Um, that's not true. Okay, another false narrative that they rocked in there was when they showed the Southsiders versus the Blacks, homes. I ain't going against the guns. Let me tell you something. One, no, one, one, one. First of all, why are they the only ones walking on the theater? Why is everyone else still locked in their cells? Come on now, stop it, right? I'm just being real here. I know it's Hollywood and it's a fucking movie. Hey, it's a pinchy movie, gun, stop it. No, at the end of the day, when a movie is basing it on a true story or real individuals, homes, you have to get it as accurate as you can because spreading, spreading false narratives is what gets people whacked. It's happened in prison time and time again. People go out there like, yeah, yeah, that homeboy right there, homes, he was fucking his old lady. When real life, homes, he wasn't. He was her, her sister who was righteous, right? But homeboy church, my old lady? So you know he's getting whacked, he's getting moved on, homes. He's getting hated on, and all along the line, it was that was his fucking brother-in-law, homes. They were probably eating tor uh, tortas and tacos together two weeks prior. It's just you gotta keep it real in real life because people get hurt over certain situations. Now my arm let me hit you real quick because I'm real. Now let's get to it. Um, one of the main things in that movie that um, I think was a very big detail they put in, which was false as fuck, was when. At the end, Santana gets hit by his own organization and thrown over the chair. Now, this was supposed to portray his death, okay? And they did a good job in Hollywood showing that. You know, Vato getting whacked and thrown off the tira. But at the same time, for showing weakness. You know, they kind of had that right. I don't necessarily say weakness. I didn't take that individual in real life for a weak person. Anything I've researched and looked into it. Cheyenne Cadena was as solid as they come. He was a visionary who had an idea to bring Rasa together. Sort of like some Vato named the Gunner. Maybe I hope they don't fucking hit me and throw me out the theater because I ain't trying to go out like that. But, you know, one never knows does one. Menudo. I might be fucking Menudo on the ground. Um, this never happened. Okay? Um, he was hit. He was uh, hit in Palm Hall and Chino. Um, but it was done by the, uh, the other faction, the, the opposition, the other side, right? The Vatos that were from up north as well as individuals that weren't, um, that were just part of the organization. Okay, um, to that point, they had been warring, but you had lost no soldados on the MS side, man. Um, so when they showed the scene in the in the movie theater, Vatos getting hit and shit, they were just trying to show you the lightweight tension between the NF and them. And I understand that, um, you know, and I'm not... And I'm not saying that these organizations even exist. I'm saying that this is what they were showing. Now, I thought it was a bad look because they were showing the existence of or two clandestine organizations that up until that point of American Me were kind of quietly spoken on. No one really said these. They weren't household names. When they said that, I had my little primo running around. Hey, I'm Santana Holmes. I'm a, I run Folsom Yard. I'm from the Mexican Mafia. I was like, God damn, bro. Sh you know what I mean? So, you know, don't get the whole identity whack, right? Um... Prior to that point, people didn't know about these organizations, okay? So them putting them and making them mainstream and throwing them out there, man, that was a bad look. Okay, you could talk about it like American Meat, or like Blood and Blood Out did, or the Aryan Vanguard, and, you know what I mean? The Black Guerrilla Army, and, you know what I mean? The Aviers, and fucking, you know, the Honda, and however they did it, they did it smooth. Everyone knew, but you didn't know. You understand what I'm saying? About those are smart. They're like, fuck that, we're going to start filming this. We're not trying to get whacked. Um, American Me chose a different route. They chose to mix reality 
with fucking fiction. And when you do that, like I said, real people get hurt. And so what were the results and the repercussions for this movie? For those of you that don't know, I know most do. Real people got hurt. Real people got hit. There were several individuals that were hit because of the disrespect or allegedly, or maybe not, you know, um, either way, people died as a result of this movie um, because the movie was highly disrespectful, told a lot of frivolous lies and is a great movie. I ain't going to lie. I can sit here. Well, I'm going to watch it right now. Fuck it. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to eat a burrito de carne asada and I'm going to watch American Me, homes. Fuck it all. You know what I mean? Orale. Fossum belong to us. The oldest clica. And I'm going to watch it. Um, and I enjoy it for what it is, is a movie. Okay? Just a movie. You are not to take this and run with this as education when you watch this movie and think that this is the correct timeline because this is farthest from the truth. Okay? Nothing that happened in that movie is correct. Okay? Prison is a dangerous place. Okay? People and organizations stick to their own. That's a fact. Okay? But as far as some of the shit that they shown, um, it was just Hollywood, man. And people need to learn to take it like that. There's people that really believe shit. Hey, just get I really believe that incredible hope. Yeah, never thought he just gets all fucked and locked down on PCP, turns green, starts to get swolled up, and fucks everyone up. Oh, is that what you really believe? See, boom! I seen him, man. I seen him. Were you on drugs? Yeah, I was on Scantin. Yeah, of course. We know. You know what I mean? Double up. Uh, uh. You know what I mean? Man noodle. You know what I mean? But on power root, you need to understand in real life. Movies such as American Me, Blood In, Blood Out, are a lot, whole lot of fiction, man. Don't run with it. And I trip out on that. When are we going to get a real story? Ethan? Come on, man. Mexicano, stand up. Come here. Mr. Come here. I need you, right? When are we going to get a real story in Hollywood? When are we going to get something based on? We got La Bamba. You know what I mean? You guys weren't too far off on that. I fucking appreciate that, man. All right. Oh, boy. Every liquor star, every time. A drafting table. Rosie, right? We got that. You gave us that. Thank you. Gracias. We appreciate that, right? But can we get a, a, a movie that's going to be prison based in real life on some real shit based on someone like a real motherfucker? You know what I mean? Because it seems like um, Hollywood tries to minimize uh, our, our, our contribution to society. You know, we don't get real things like that, man. We get bullshit like uh, the fucking prison stabbings and, and hits and all that, man. Why don't you show our contribution being hardworking Mexicanos out there in society, man, really putting a foundation down for the people, you know, and being a product and, and being woven into the motherfucking quilt of America, being a product of our environment and really going out there. They make our culture look bad, you know so let's get our fucking cultura is one of the most beautiful cultures in the world. One of the most beautiful that ever existed and will continue to exist. Because sabes que you fight one bean. What's the saying, girl? How does it go, sir? You gotta fight the whole burrito. Arale! Con salsita y todo. Oh my. Right? Um, I just wanted to bring you guys uh, some of the things that were lies. You know, lies that were told to you. And for any of you youngsters that are just now gang banging, so it's 2022, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, right? For any of you guys that are just getting involved and you guys think American me is the timeline and the history of what really happened between North and South and South and North and all that, Charlie Holmes, that's the furthest from the truth. Um, there ain't even fucking Norteños in that movie. They don't even speak on it. You know what I mean? We can never get no action. That's what I used to say. So, why don't we ever get a movie? We did. They gave us La Michonne. The auto was sucking pipa. I don't understand. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck, eh? Why you got a clown? It's just a fact. Anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to give you guys that. Some of the facts, some of the realness. None of the bullshit. No how to preserve it. Hey, leave it to Tony. He'll tell you. It was real to the T. It was just perfect. As he's on the phone with some author that's lying to him. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, Hampton, it's all about you and your familia and the real struggles of real life. If you really want to learn something, open up a pinchy book, comes and educate yourself into the cultura and the historia of our people. That's the righteous way. Learn some Nahuatl, homes. Study. You know what I mean? Learn the dialects. Learn things that'll help you in life, man, to become a smarter man. Learning your history, bro, is a rich thing. It's a very educational thing. It's something, man, that you need in your life. I promise that it makes you a better man and woman. Do that one time for your mind. Show your kids the right way. Not think she American me, homes that's gonna fucking show them how a fucking Italian can take you. It's like, you're the bitch. Con arroz, con leche. You are no puppet was right there. Pinchy puppet. Anyways, if you like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If not, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle and bring you the best possible content I can on YouTube because that's what I does. Because, you know what I mean? Bro, I got the tapes. Did you see that right there? Going on the pinch. It was either fucking dirty lint or an orb. Probably the Italian that got fucked.